Good Monday afternoon to you folks, Apple Stump Bushcraft stuff and things. Back with you today for another brief review of a freeze dried survival style backpackers, hikers type of uh, meal. This one here is by Backpackers Pantry, and today we have huevos rancheros, dried egg mix with red beans, chilies, onion, peppers and cheese. All natural, add water and scramble. Serves two, net weight three ounces or 87 grams. I've been going through my kits and finding out what needs to be recycled and replaced. So this has a best used by date of August 16th, 2015 or approximately two years ago. So the directions for this packet are to add one and a quarter cups or 300 milliliters of water, blend well, let stand for 10 minutes to allow the beans to rehydrate, blend again and cook over low heat in a nonstick pan, stir frequently. The package contains two servings, serving size is one half package, 210 calories, 10 grams of fat, saturated 3.5 grams, zero trans fat, 265 milligrams of cholesterol, 740 milligrams of sodium, 12 grams carbohydrate, dietary fiber is 4 grams, sugar is 3 grams, protein 17 grams. And then there's 20% vitamin A, 40% vitamin C, 15% of calcium, and 15% of iron. So that's the nutritional value in this particular meal. Very lightweight. I had it in my automobile emergency kit and I also have a few of these in some of my go bags so we'll have to be cycling through those as well. So what we're going to do with this today is rather than cook it in a nonstick pan which I would not have with me out in the trail or in my emergency kit in my car for that matter, I'm going to try cooking it in the pouch. You can see the ingredients in there. There's the black beans and there's eggs in there, of course, and other things. So let's get set up here to boil some water. And we're just going to put the one and a quarter cups of hot water in there, seal it up, and let it stand for a while. All right, so we're going to boil some water. We have the MSR nested cook pot set here. And we're going to use the one here for our one and a quarter cup of water. And we'll set the rest of them to the side. The water's going to get boiled in that. We're going to use MSR Pocket Rocket. That's about finger tight right there. cup and a quarter of water here. Pour it in. Put the lid on. Fire up the stove. But we'll give that a couple of minutes to boil and get back to you. Take a look and see how things are going. Well, there's some bubbles starting in there. So we're sitting at about three minutes here. A lot of steam coming out from under that lid. And we have a rolling boil, so we'll shut that off. Set the little ah, that's hot. Wow. Set that to the side. And we'll set the rocket stove aside. And let's see if we can do this without getting scalded. Because who likes that, right? Yow, that's hot. Holy cow. I'm going to stir it up a little bit in there.
Now, I don't know if this is going to work or not because it says you need to cook it in a pan. But we're going to let it cook itself for a little while. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes or so. Let's take a look and see what's in the pouch. Ugh, I don't think I want to eat that. <laughs> Not like that anyway. No, that's just... Ugh. So I think why you need to cook it is to reduce the liquid content. There's no way in the world I would eat that. That's soup. That's nothing more than soup. So, we're going to go to plan B here. Stand by. So we're going to cook it in the pan that we boiled the water in see what happens. I'm kind of reluctant to do this because on the trail a lot of times I don't necessarily have a pan. And I certainly don't have one in my emergency kit, so there's a valuable lesson for me about how that works out. Actually, there we go. I'm going to use the big pan. And we're going to pour this in there. We didn't pour so well, now I have to wash the tablecloth. So we'll just stir it while it's cooking and see if that doesn't thicken it up. So unless they have some kind of thickener in here to thicken it up or they expect that the liquid content will be reduced if you fry it in a frying pan. Uh, this is not exactly a frying pan. But it's going to thicken up one way or the other, either by loss of liquid or by the action of a thickener or both. Starting to thicken up a little bit. I think it's boiling down. First time I've ever seen something that supposedly is made of eggs that is actually brown. And guess what? MRE spoons are not up to the task of stirring boiling hot things. So, another lesson learned. And this thing is bubbling like a mud pot at Yellowstone Park, so we're going to move it to another surface. All right, before we bring that meal back, I'm going to get this out of the way because if my MRE spoon melted in the process of stirring that, I'm not sure what's going to become of thy tray. So there's a trivet. We'll put the hot pan on top of that and sample that stuff. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't look edible. At least it doesn't look appetizing. Okay, here it is. It looks more like oatmeal than huevos rancheros. Switch to a wooden spoon, and that is the consistency of oatmeal or chili. There's nothing eggy about that whatsoever. So I'm going to take a spoonful of it and try it out, and then I'm also going to put some salsa on it because I think that might help things a little bit. Something else I discovered in cooking this delicious entree. Well, remains to be seen whether it's delicious or not. On the package it says when you're cooking it in that nonstick frying pan, which you always take with you when you're backpacking, right? Um, stir occasionally. What I found out cooking this over the MSR pocket rocket stove in this particular stainless steel pot Stir constantly, never give up stirring because it'll burn and stick to the bottom. So that pan's going to require some cleaning. I'll give it a little taste here. I want one of those beans. And we'll see what happens. The beans actually help, believe me. The texture of this stuff is somewhat like mush.
there's a definite southwestern flavor in there. I'm going to put a little bit of salsa in there. This is just a generic salsa from the supermarket. Southwest salsa is labeled as. And we'll try a bite of it with that. Here's to your good health. Okay, so is it edible? Yes. Does it taste good? Scale of 1 to 10? 3. Would I eat it if I were starving? Absolutely. Would I take it with me backpacking without a frying pan? No. Am I going to remove this menu if there are any others remaining in my emergency kits? Yes, I am. Other than that, as an emergency ration, you cook it in whatever you have and eat it for the calories. Okay, we can handle that. But I definitely don't recommend cooking it other than as the direction of the state, which would be in a frying pan of some kind, because cooking it in this pot did not make it resemble huevos rancheros in any way, shape, manner, or form. Well, this has been a review of Backpacker's Pantry, huevos rancheros. It's not their fault that I didn't follow the exact directions and come out with something different but I used what I would have on the trail and discovered that this is not something to take with me backpacking like the fellow on the label unless I happen to have a frying pan in there which I don't generally have Apple Stump Bushcraft stuff and things will be coming back again with another MRE review in a few days and who knows what else we'll come up with appreciate you watching like share and subscribe if you like the video feel free to make any comments and we'll see you next time. Adios. Finally got the pot scrubbed out here as you can see. It took a little bit of effort. As I say, if you make that menu in a pot like this, stir constantly, not occasionally.